Hi, my name is Justin Odisho, and in this Adobe Premiere Pro CC tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a simple camera flash transition. So I've got two clips on the timeline, and one is cutting right into the other. And one simple way to do this is simply to go to the video transition section and choose under the dissolve menu, dip to white. If I click and drag this in between the two clips, I should see it dip to white. However, this is much too slow. That's more like a fade. If you were to take and click this little piece of tape, that is the transition. And in the effects control panel, you can also see more information about it. But if I just drag this in from both sides and make it a very fast tr transition, it'll basically just be like a white flash. And you can do it like that. Maybe, maybe just one frame longer. If I, if I zoom in there, I can go back in and just maybe make it last a little bit longer. And we essentially have a flash. Now, if you want to spice it up and add some extra touches to that, one thing you can do is create a new adjustment layer. So I'll go to File, New, Adjustment Layer. Just make sure you have the Project panel highlighted so that you can do that. And I'll press OK, and then I'll drag this adjustment layer over top of my transition. So what I want to do is I'll just grab my Cut Tool with C, and I'll cut that. And I just want to place this adjustment layer symmetrically over our cut and I might let it extend out a few frames longer than the dip to white is and on this adjustment layer I want to go to my effects panel and I want to search for one called brightness and contrast and I'm going to add that onto the adjustment layer so right here at the very beginning of the clip we're going to add a keyframe here at zero and zero and then at the very middle of the clip we're going to add a keyframe and I'm actually I'll do this backwards just to show you I'll delete the dip to white for now. At the cut of the clip, I want to increase the brightness and increase the contrast all the way. And then at the end of the clip, I'll revert them back to zero. I can use this reset parameter button as a shortcut. So what, we'll, what we've done now is kind of create a, a contrast flash. And honestly, this could serve as a transition itself without even using the dip to white. But when you do increase the contrast so much, you do get this sort of uh, noisy, grainy feel. And in order to smooth that out, I'm going to add a Gaussian Blur. So I'll just search Gaussian Blur in the Effects panel. That's in the Blur and Sharpen folder. I suppose if you want to get experimental, you can add a Directional Blur or some other kind of blur. But I'll add the Gaussian Blur, and I'll do the same sort of keyframes. I'll start off at zero blurriness. I'll move to the very middle increase it just a little bit, I don't know, maybe 100 or 75. And then I'll at the end, I'll take it back to zero. So this actually will act like its own transition if you want. That's a different kind of glow and flash. But in combination with the dip to white, we can make this camera flash sort of transition or blur and glow sort of transition. You can play around with which effects you want on there or not. And if you want this to go slower or faster, then you just have to make the adjustment layer one frame longer on each side and take the keyframes and make them last one frame longer as well. So this is actually a good starting point for a lot of different transition ideas you can play around with. Here's if I did an additive dissolve instead of a dip to white. We have a similar sort of flash. There's many different possibilities that you could do. And you could do the simple versions or mix them in with these adjustment layers and keyframes and effects. But if you enjoyed this transition tutorial, you can check out hundreds of more tutorials and ideas in the playlist on my channel. And subscribe here on YouTube to stay tuned for all my future videos. My name is Justin Odisho. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.